In this video, I will show you how to update your network items. Please make sure that your computer is in the same IP range as the notice, otherwise you won't be able to update them. To open the Mixfun firmware updater, go to the Finder, then select Applications, the DMXLAN v4 folder, and then double click on the DMXLAN firmware updater app. Nodes are detected automatically, but if you've powered the node after you have opened the DMXLAN firmware updater application, you can do a scan. Now you can choose to clear the device list or just add the new devices. If you want to make sure you are updating the correct node, you can select this node in the device list and click on Identify. The node's display will start blinking. If there are a lot of nodes on the network, you can use the filter to quickly find the node. If you have found the node you want to update, select this node and click on Update. Now you can select the firmware you want to load into this node. Now you can keep track of the updating status in the bottom left corner. Here the progress of the updating is shown. Do not interrupt this process. Once the updating is finished, the node will be deselected automatically and the firmware will be updated. If you have updated the node from a 1.xx version to a 2.xx version, don't forget to load the factory defaults on the node itself before using it. With this application, you also can change the IP settings of a node. Select the node you want to change the IP from and then click on Set IP. Here you can choose between a dynamic IP address or a static IP address. Dynamic means that the node will get this IP address from a DHCP server, which is usually not the case in Lightning networks. If you load the factory default, the IP address will change to a static IP address, which is unique. Therefore, I strongly recommend using the factory default's IP address. However, if you are in a situation you need to change the address, you can do it here. Just fill in the new IP address and the new subnet mask and press OK. The IP address is changed now. You can close this program by clicking on Exit.